The streets have changed big time. They're empty. At the beginning, I was in fear because nobody knew anything about it. Quarantine, you know, no more school. So we all kind of freaked out, including myself. But hey, I'm not stopping to do my work. I work as an art teacher for 12 years in East Oakland in a public school. What I try to give my students is a space for expression. Giving that to young people is crucial. There are kids that their parents are working all day. So we become that part that is missing. Because of the pandemic, I don't have a job now. But the teaching continues. There is a lot of opportunities to keep teaching, not necessarily in the classroom. When COVID started, hard times for a lot of people. Economic, mental, people losing jobs, their houses. It's been, in a way, tough for me too, but it's bringing me hope this time because I know that something has to happen. Then George Floyd, Black Lives Matter protests started. They started the boards up. All of a sudden, there were like hundreds of new spots to paint. For me, that was like an opportunity to put the messages that were needed. The people speak through the walls. It became an open gallery like a renaissance. And that is the proof that art is a weapon, but also is medicine. The walls are ours. We are not giving them the walls back to gray. When you put that on public, you are putting your feelings there. How you think, your ideas, that's a revolutionary act. Colors can change the energy of places and people. Images can get in your conscience. Space can be changed in a positive way to help the people that live there. If you are seeing a wall that is gray all your life and all of a sudden you see that same wall that is full of colors, just makes you feel good, that drives me to do more. Imagine for a minute, for a second, imagine the world without art, with no music, no murals. Can you imagine it? Art is essential. I mean, what gives you hope? A beautiful painting, a good song. This time we're proving it. We are more essential than ever, man. People put me in the box of radical artists or political artists because I've been doing it. But now in these times, pandemic times, tragedies, fires, everything happening, political turmoil, people need magic. Need to be bring back to our humanity. It's about bring joy. For me, it's just like a tool to make people feel better in these hard times, you know, that's, that's what I, I am right now.